Hello everybody and welcome back to Northgard where um, I think there have been a couple of changes in some recent patches that have allowed for now I'm gonna just check this the victory conditions to be chosen yes so if I want to say that we can only fight for wisdom I can if I want to take away the trade victory I can if I want to take the special map victory away I also can do that so much better so I think that today I am going to go <clears throat> now normal or hard I'm going to go hard right I'm going to go wolf clan and I'm going to say that the only way we can win the only win condition I want is domination so we're going to have an out and out big old battle against each other to try and win the map on domination hopefully nothing bugs out or crashes that was i think that was just a one-off to be honest um and we'll see how that goes on hard difficulty so no one's going to be able to like mess me up by going oh yes i do a little easy trade victory when i'm trying to do my really hard domination victory i think that's going to help a lot that everyone's trying for the same thing so let's go for it and we are going to be Clan of the Wolf. And were we on hard difficulty? Huh? Uh, I have to check. I have to check these things. Yeah, we were on hard difficulty. I'm sure I had done that, but I wanted to make sure. So hard difficulty. Domination only. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. wonder when they're going to bring these new clans in. I can't wait for that. But I am so pleased with that because it means I'm I'm on an equal footing to everybody else at this point. They can't just sneak in with an easy victory when I'm trying to do my difficult victory. I do want to at some point do a law victory as well, but... Hey, let's start. Oh, that went a bit janky as it was loading in. I hope that's okay. Oh, it looks like a heart, kinda. Okay, so here's our starting area. We are Wolf Clan. First thing I'll do with the wolf clan is build a woodcutter's lodge. And a house. And a scout cap. But I'm gonna get some wood in before I do too much else. Now how many buildings are we allowed here? We're allowed one more building probably be the training camp so what I'll do then is I'll rush wood a little bit in the summer we're at minus five food already wow ah plus four okay they've actually started gathering now so I need someone to be a woodcutter you can be and I just need to make sure that that's all balanced so we're plus four on food and plus four on wood that's okay and if I get this guy to cut wood as well, we'll be at plus two. I'm happy enough with that. No, no. Do, do your job. So we've got uh, two villagers, two woodcutters. Fine with that. Next villager will be coming very soon and I'll make them a scout. Sky Scout first. Right now, go and do that one. I'm not really bothered which border they're going for to start with. So if I look under my victory conditions, it is domination only. That's pretty. I love that actually, because I could I could say that you can't have domination. You have to do you have to do law or you have to do something like something different. So we're just waiting for the scouts to scout out that area. We're on a negative food again. So I'm going to make one of the woodcutters back into a villager. We've got enough food, uh, enough wood now to build a training camp, which is good. We've got the scouts have explored a new area, and that area has a wolf guarding it, unfortunately. There's an area here as well. Normally there's an area nearby that doesn't have anything 
that you need to fight. Uh, I would like to know where that area is. Well, I get the feeling that um, it's going to be really, really important for me to make sure that I gather as much area, and especially areas with iron in them, as possible for this domination victory that I'm going to be doing. My law isn't very good. It's still important to do things like trading and law and all that stuff. Once I have 20 food, I'll be able to colonise that. <laughs> When's winter? <laughs> Good grief. Although we'll make more food once that guy's finished with the uh, building the guild hall. Sorry, the warrior's hut. The warrior's trading camp. That's the proper word for it. Okay, cool. We're getting food in now, so... We'll get our next area in a second. Our territory's under attack already. Oh, okay, by a wolf. That's fine. I was thinking, I haven't even met any other clans yet. How? I need more food so badly. Scout's doing really well. There's a law stone in there. There's also pasture land in these areas, so it's going to be really important to get those early on. We're at plus seven food now. We can colonise this area, I think. Be good to build there. There's iron down here. Scout! Scout, scout, scout. Go scout over here, please. If there's iron next to me, I want to know about it. And I'm also going to want you to explore that place once you've explored that as well. So we're doing okay for our food at the moment anyway. 16, plus 16 from villagers, minus 10 from consumption. Uh, the villagers got a little bit hurt there, so I'll need to build a healer's hut soon. I need a, a bigger population really. I'll leave them for now and once I've got a big enough population that I can have two or three uh, maybe two and I could take that area over and I could build a farm on it and get a mine going. I don't want to take them off their food duties too early. How happy are they? One happiness, so we'll get another villager. It'll take a while, to be honest. But this clan does get happiness from um, military units. So that's something to think about as well. You get Let's, let's get two soldiers now. We'll send them over here to kill this wolf. Uh, no, both of you, please. Get you together, and then you can go and kill the wolf together. Not, like, one at a time. That would suck. Okay, so if I have 40 food, I can colonise that area, which I do, so I will. We still have a little while. I like it because, it, again, it's taking the coastline and protecting our backs. Where's the scout now? Okay, yeah, that's the area I want him to scout, that's fine. This one here would be a good area. It seems to be a bottleneck for something. So I could put a defence tower there. This area up here seems to be fairly protected as well. I as I say, I need to know what's in this uh, fog of war. Okay, I think we can do a little bit more building. We could maybe go with the healer's hut now, but we won't actually have enough people for a healer. So I'm actually thinking that building a farm would be the best thing right now. Get more food going. And I need someone to build it, which is going to affect the food for a little while. I'm slightly worried about the food situation. Oh, scouty, scouty, McScouty pants. Let's go and check out this area. I want this area as soon as I can because that'll be instant iron for me, but I need to get rid of the bear first. Bear, I usually have three, three people for that. 
And we can have two buildings here, I think. Yeah. So the mine and the farm will literally be it. We can have a farm here and another two buildings on top of the law stone. That's pretty cool. Again, for two wolves, I want three. Um, and here I could probably build my healer's hut. Oh. Go on, warriors. Well done. Definitely need the healers up. How much wood do I need for that? I need a second woodcutter, really. I haven't found any forest yet, either. Because otherwise I'd do a second woodcutter's... Oh, here's the forest. Okay. So that's the area I want my woodcutter's hut in. It's got a couple of wolves in it. Which is never good. Okay, let's get some civilians over on my newly built farm. Get them making some food for me. And the winter's starting to come in now. So we're at minus one food. It doesn't look like there's going to be any kind of... Um, oh, plus ten. That's good. From the farmers, I guess. Um, it doesn't look like there's going to be any kind of blizzard, but we've still got the winter. We need more houses. Oh, no. We can have three buildings in here, so uh, let's build... We'll build a house as soon as we can. We will have to do that after the winter, though. 50 law. Great, great stuff. Okay, sharp axes. More wood. Yeah, wood is going to help us grow. We've already got um, weaponsmith. Extra crowns for each enemy unit killed. That would be good as well. But yeah, axes for now. Very handy finding those ruins. Very handy indeed. Um, but I do need, I definitely need to build something to help them with their um, health before I start going for all these bears and wolves around here to expand my territory. Where's my scout just now? He's doing that one again. Okay, that's fine. I want to know what's there. go around the coastline maybe okay so we've got a beach down there so if we wanted to do any uh, it looks like that's completely free for the taking to be honest with you so I will be taking that next um, in the in the summertime it looks like up here and around here and then we could defend from here quite easily that's a Draugr area by the looks of it and we'd have like a really good solid base back here if we could do that. Is there anything there? There's wolves in there. Brown bear in there. Wolves in there. Nothing too bad, but we do need the healer's hut before we can continue. And for that we need winter to be over. Two happiness, that's good. That's probably from our military units. So if I actually put another military unit in, that would uh, help with that. We have enough food at the moment. I'll wait till the summer though. It's always tempting to try and go too fast in these things and then it causes issues. It's nice to know that I'm not going to get sort of pipped to the post by someone doing a trade victory. Although I hear apparently in that particular... Um, in this particular update that they've just done, they've actually made it so that the trade victory is now 8,000 crowns instead of 7,000. So it's they've realised, I think, that the trade victory was far too easy. Way too easy. Okay, well this area looks like it's still quite hemmed in. Uh, oh, who's attacking? Okay, don't attack the scout. Get away, scout. Get away. Go away. No, get away. I told you to go away. Run. Really? I'm telling him to run and he doesn't run. And there's now two wolves in my territory. Great. I should have been able... He should have run away from that. That's, that's so stupid. Okay, so we'll take over this area now. We've got enough food to do that. We've got a positive of 12 food at the moment. And uh, hopefully we'll get our scout back soon. That was so annoying. Uh, 
So we have four villagers, a woodcutter, two farmers and a warrior. Um, I would like to make one of the villagers into a woodcutter, just even that out a little bit. So we've got eight and eight, that's fine. And we will start by building... Oh, we don't have enough wood for anything at all yet, so it's definitely the way to go is to keep going with the wood. I hate my healer's hut so badly. I really want this area as well, so I can put more farms everywhere. Farms for the win. Um, the crowns are in a negative at the moment, so I need to be careful of that as well. Guys, please don't. Please get away. Run away. Run away you as well. Oh, well done. Well done farmers. Okay. Back to work then. Need my healing hurt so badly. <laughs> build a mine, I can build a healer's hut, yay! Right, we're not going to build it there, we're going to build it here. We've got enough buildings there. We'll build it quite far back. Get someone to come over here and do that. And once they're a healer, they'll actually make a little bit of food as well as healing everybody, so that's kind of handy too. And I can just change them from being a healer to being a villager if people aren't hurt. It seems to work quite well that way. Of waiting around now I think. We need everybody to heal and then we need enough uh, villagers that I can have another another warrior I think and then we can start taking out the the wolf and the bear there. Get our sort of area all neatly bundled together and I think the wolves in here as well at some point. I need the scout to go out there and check it out once I get a new one. Okay healer's hut's done. You go. Heal people. Thank you. I'm looking forward to getting the bear. We need more houses. Well, have another house then. In here. Don't have many villagers now, unfortunately. The healer, I'm sure the healer did give food. I could be wrong though. Healing a warrior, 89%. Oh, okay. So maybe they do food when they're not healing. I don't know. It's good that it tells you what he does. I don't know if that's um that's a new thing in since the patch or whether that was always there and I just never saw it. It's good to know what he's doing, what he's up to. So he's healing a warrior. So if I had two of them, they might do heal it. So it does heal one at a time as well. It's interesting to know that too. So it looks like he goes for the warriors first and then he does the civilians. Rats have been reported. We need to store our food in silos or it will get eaten just before winter as well. Oh, I don't have enough for a silo. I need an upgraded town hall for that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Guy, get out of there. Oh, who is he killing? Oh, okay, okay. It was the wolf that was going down in health. Okay, this could be a bad winter, I think. We have enough lore to get new knowledge. Um, fur coats. Mining efficiency. Colonization would be good, I think. Help us expand a bit early on. Yeah, this isn't a fun situation at the moment. We are not doing well compared to the others for fame as well. Which means that quite often you get fame from expanding into different areas, so I'm a bit worried about that. We need areas with um, things like farms so we can get extra food. The area with the brown bear is going to be so good. I'm glad that other people have to go right through my territory to get it as well. Although I worry that someone will sneak up from around here. That is a bit of a worry. I feel like I'll be able to cement this area a little bit more and put a, a tower here and then be able to just expand around this way and that way I'm gonna only have sort of two fronts. I think if I take this area out yellows are gonna start really trying to dominate me as well so they're gonna really start trying to take over and attack me a lot so 
it looks like there's already a yellow scout been trying to go around there as well. Okay, I do need a scout. I hope that doesn't put me into negative for food. Apparently not. Okay. Don't know what that guy was doing. Um, can you please check out that border? Right, if I play this right with my warriors, I can probably kill those two wolves. Gotta kill him quickly before his friend comes over. There we go. How much would. Oh, yeah, we can get that for 80. Cool. And I want to build a tower there as soon as I can. Probably like back here. Okay, there's a wolf over there that I need to go get. Get away, healer. Luckily, my civilians are pretty badass. So that's cool. So we've got this area now. I can build a, and I will be building straight away, a defense tower. And I'll be building it kind of back here. And I'll also be building a farm. And the thing with the defense tower is you want it as far back as possible so that it's got time to shoot arrows. You don't want it right by that border. It would be tempting to build it right there, but that would be that would be bad. Um, I've got to be careful with whoever I put there. If I want to get extra lore, I can, but that might cause constant loss of villagers because it will drag the Draugr across, which is not something I want. So the idea is that this is my my sort of um, line of defence there against the yellows coming through and against those Draugr coming through. Okay, it looks like we've got a nice area full of deer and stuff here, which is lovely. Um, I won't be able to colonise that until I fight either the wolves or the bear. And as I say, I wanted a third um, member of my military before I fought the bear. So I think these guys would be fine fighting the wolves in here. How many wolves are there? I can't see very well. One, two, I think there's three. I think I would prefer to have a third before I go for that. And it's starting to come into winter as well. Oh, and the rats, the rats are gonna devour 60% of my food. And there's nothing I can do about it. Yes, I can't have food silos until I've upgraded my town hall, and I can't upgrade my town hall until I've got a mine, and I can't get... Well, I can get a mine in a minute, but... Okay, that's built now, good. Might be able to do something about the food situation. Someone got Thane already. Lucky them. Okay, we're only on minus six food, but we only have... 27 food total. So I'm going to take all of the woodcutters off. Or one of the woodcutters off anyway. I'll take the scout back for food. Um, I'll take the healer back for food. see how we do. Oh, territory. No, don't kill my farmer. Don't kill my farmer. I need my farmer. I need him. I need him. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Both my farmers are dead. We are going to starve. We are going to starve. I tried my hardest. I tried so hard. Right, let's get two more civilians into onto that farm because farmers make more than civilians do. Plus one, okay. We'll live, we'll live. Just gotta be careful of the wood, but the wood is okay. No one's healing because there's no healer. 
but as soon as it becomes spring, we'll be fine. Right, territory's under attack from the Draugr. Quick. Go, 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 go. Oh, actually, that tower is doing a really good job. Go on, tower. Right, so I'm going to mostly keep my warriors, like, over here then. So, basically, the warriors defend against the wolves coming in. And the tower defends against the Draugr. I think that's a really good setup. I would love to have my healer back, though. So badly. But we so nearly died. I'll be an earthquake soon. Okay. Not a lot I can do about that other than try to stockpile wood. As soon as it's spring, I'll put a couple of guys on the wood uh, production, which will hopefully protect against the earthquake. Territory's under attack. Wolves are in there. Oi, wolves. Oi, oi. Get back. And let the most uh, healthy one take the aggro, basically. But they're, they're struggling now. Okay, so now we're in spring. Let's have a healer. Let's have a couple of woodcutters. We're still struggling for crowns quite a bit, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is build something for trade. How many things am I allowed there? A couple. So, Trading post, as soon as we've got 80 wood I'll build a trading post, because uh, once we run out of money we're not going to have building maintenance and that's going to be an issue. Let's get trading. I'm literally just staying ahead of the curve there, that's all I'm doing. So my healer at the moment is uh, healing my warriors up and hopefully once that's done they'll heal everything else. I want another villager but I want one that's healthy to come and be another warrior. Help my happiness a bit. Oh I don't have enough gold to be a warrior, oh no. I need to take care of my warriors then. Super, super duper take care of my warriors. I should have taken the thing that allows me to get um, crowns for the enemy units killed. I'll do that next time. Now you get back. <laughs> Let your mate help. Do we have enough for a trader's place? I think we do now. We'll put it back there. Out of the way. Someone can build it and be a trader and make money and that will help my uh, me to afford units basically. coastline goes on for ages. I was hoping that I could get my... yeah. Oh and there's an area back there as well. So that area is not as um, closed in as I thought it was. That's a shame. Okay, we're just pretty much waiting at the moment for the trading to thing to be built. How far is it? Halfway. Uh, how's my healer doing? Healing my warrior again. Spends all this time healing the warrior, he's not healing himself. That's a point actually. If I got a, a healed villager to help out with the healing, they would be that much faster than the healer I've got at the moment. So if we just do that and we'll get all the healing done faster with the, with the two healers. At least I imagine that's what happens. Healing warrior, healing warrior. So they're both healing the same warrior, so that should go quicker. And uh, once the warrior is healed, they should be able to start healing the village people. Okay, do I have three warriors yet? No, I don't. Um, I don't have enough money. I'm at minus one on the money as well. You go be a trader. I'm hoping that that will give me, yeah, an income. Cool. Oh, so sorely needed. Okay, so that's everything on a positive but the, the earthquake's about to come. But we did um, 
make sure that we had lots of woodcutters because I foresaw that coming. We've got five wounded clan members at the moment. The warrior's nearly healed. Cool. And if we put another villager as a warrior, then we would actually... Ah, we have enough money now. Great. We would get more happiness and that would give us another villager almost straight away. So that's really cool. So if you pop over there with your friends. And we can maybe try and take over this woodcutting sort of area. Right, our area is under attack. But usually the tower is enough to defend against most things. Other than like enemies from back here. But can you see how much easier it was having it all the way back there? So much better that way. So let's see what the, who the healers are healing now. Healing a farmer. Good, so everyone's going to heal up. And once they're all healed up, then we'll be in a good position. Because they'll be working harder and faster and getting more food in, which will be so good. And hopefully we're now getting another... Oh, there's not enough space to increase. Okay, I need to sort that out need to get another house straight away. Uh, so we do have enough wood for another house. We've had the earthquake now, so we'll pop a house in there. I'll get a villager to go and build it. And then we that's why we've not been increasing our population. And I think there's a... Oh no, there's plus five from territory, minus plus three from military units. So actually the fact that they've got houses isn't making them unhappy. It's just stopping them from growing at all. I think they will grow a bit even with like zero happiness. Okay, so I think it's time now to go and secure our iron supplies. So we'll gather here. And then we'll go fight the bear. We've only got three wounded now, that's good. Come on, fight the bear. So we'll see whoever gets the, the aggro first, we'll move them back. Once we get to about just below half health. And then he'll take on someone else. Come back and... Yay, there we go. That's our area now. We can have it for 110 food. We have enough for that. And that will allow us another farm and another mine. But we are going to be bordering right on the reds now. So it's getting a bit more dangerous. Although it doesn't look like... It looks like they're down below there. So... They're going to be more worried once we start to get... Oh, we could maybe even take this area. We can take that straight away and it'll be like a hunting area. I think that would be really good. Super good to do. It might be an idea to put a tower up here as well. It might be things coming through this way. farm first. Someone come build me a farm please. And I'll send my warriors back down this way. Oops, because there's wolves coming through from that side. So I think we're expanding well at the moment. Taking that iron was important. That's going to help us um, to regenerate our warband leader when we finally get our warband leader. So the next thing I think we need to do now is to get mine to upgrade the village hall. Now we're sort of stable on all of our other things. The house got built so we are now finally growing again. But they're unhappy again. No! Oh, minus four food. Right. I think... healers healing a warrior again I'll leave the healers for now because we're only on minus four food at the moment but if it really really drops then um, we'll have to do something about it all right let's get a couple of you guys who uh, on the farm which should help a little bit no don't kill my healer don't kill my healer healer run away <sighs> my healer died couldn't run away fast enough. That's so frustrating when that happens. OK, 
Okay, they're on for they're on a good amount of food. So we've got two guys. I'm gonna make one into a healer again. I want I want these guys healed so that they they're at their maximum potential. And once they are all healed up, minus ten food. Oh, good grief. I do need one more uh, civilian on this farm because that will help with the the minus food situation. And the healers will need to go back on food as soon as they've finished healing. Are you healing? You're, he you're healing a healer, right? Okay. Okay, so we're at minus nine food now. We've got the farm going. That's really good. That's helping a massive amount. We won't get anybody on that mine until the spring. That's fine. And all three farms are fully stocked with farmers. That's fine as well. That's good. In fact, I could maybe get my merchant, uh, although I think I need my merchant at the moment. We're going to be in negative crowns otherwise. So really it's just the healers, I think. So we're down to one... No, they're all healed. Great. Healers, go back and make food. Oh, so good. Hopefully that should get us to some kind of minus figure that's not too... Yeah, we're halfway through the winter. I think we'll make it through okay. Oh, this is hard work. But anyway, I think we've done okay for this episode, because I think it is the end of the episode now. Um, we have expanded a really nice way. I'm going to pause it, actually, just in case anything decides to attack me while I'm trying to do my outro. Um, yeah, we've done a really good job, I think, of just sort of securing our area and getting some military units and just getting everything balanced out so that we survive the winters. It is quite harsh in this game on the hard difficulty getting all of the sort of um, resources in balance with each other to make sure that you've got some of everything coming in and there are consequences to anything running out, especially food. If you have a, a shortage of wood or gold, your buildings start to decay, you know, so, and, and obviously then if you have a problem with your, um, if, with your people being injured from wolves and things like that then they work that little bit slower as well so it, it's all a balancing act i was really glad that i managed to get most of them healed by just so, shortly into the winter because it meant that i could take the healers off to do something else so it's good to just re always be redeploying and, and all that sort of thing so anyway that's the end of the episode for today and i hope you liked it and if you did then please leave me a like below if you'd like to see more north guard or anything else then please subscribe and i will let you know when the videos are out I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.